Hallelujah. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. May Almighty God bless you and guide you and protect you in the name of Jesus Christ. He is risen. Hallelujah. This is Easter period. We are going to go into the Word of God for you to know what Easter really means. And again, you hear it from the Word of God. You go and read it by yourself. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Easter joy. Just like any holiday, the time leading up to Easter is bound to get busy. But you can rest assured knowing that this Easter Bible verses I'm going to give you will help you, guide you through this holy time of year. Amen. I call it Resurrection Bible Verses. John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? First Peter chapter 1 to 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 21. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. I want to know Christ, yes to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. Acts chapter 4 verse 33 With great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and God's grace was so powerful at work in them all. Luke chapter 24, 6-7 he is not here. He has risen. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 verse 34. Who then is the one who condemns you? No one. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2 verse 8. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14. And God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Romans chapter 6 verse 9. We know that Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. Death cannot hold him. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 verse 34. Christ Jesus who died more than that who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Romans chapter 6, verses 8 to 11. The dead he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Luke chapter 24, verse 6 to 7. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day he rises again. Amen. Romans chapter 6, verses 8 to 11. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. Death has no more power over him. Death has no more power over you, over your life, over your family. In Jesus' name, amen. Acts chapter 3 verse 15 says, you kill the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. Any man, any woman who is planning your death, he will not get you because 
Jesus Christ died for your sake. He was made poor for us to be rich. Thank you, Jesus, for being there for us always. This Easter will bring good tidings in your family, in your life, in everything you do, in everything you touch. You are blessed in the land of the living. No sorrow will see you. This month will bring good things in your life, good business. Your children will become good. Everything you do will come aright. May you be blessed in the land of the living. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Happy Easter.